Carolyn Doobie here. Oh, what's the play for today? Well, today it's brought to you by frustration with technology. I was incredibly agitated with my computer and I had a choice to either go get a sledgehammer or to grab my art supplies. And I chose to just a lot loose with my art supplies. Now, as I'm doing this, you'll see the frustration just kind of disappears from me and I really get into the play. And I was positive I was gonna make the most amazing imaginary creature thingy with this bit of collage. And then my muse, well, gave me something different, something I wasn't expecting. And quite frankly, we might even say fit the day a little bit better. I will give you a hint, it involved a toilet. To get this started, I'm gonna grab some Marabou art crayons and I'm gonna hold them like a frustrated two-year-old, which by the way is how I was feeling when I filmed this, and I'm just gonna scribble all around and just let loose. I don't care what it looks like, all I care about is I can get a whole bunch of frustration out onto that paper. And specifically onto that paper, it's very important to me that it is this paper because those are the instructions written in 62 languages so that it's all this itty bitty little type for my bifocal eyes so it's fair to read, but it has to do with an external hard drive that just wasn't installing, it wasn't working. I've done a bazillion of these things and they've all worked so easily and this one, it's given me fits. Now you might be wondering which company's hard drive this is. Well, I'm not really gonna say that because guess what? It wasn't the company's fault. It was totally my fault. I was clicking on the wrong thing. And the more I clicked on the wrong thing, the, the less it worked, et cetera, et cetera. You can see how this was snowballing. I was so frustrated. I got help from their customer service and it was so even more frustrating when I realized all I had to do was click on this one thing. And it's a thing I always click on. I don't know why I didn't, but basically the fact that it wasn't working was user error. Well, that just added to my frustration. So that's what I'm letting out here because wow, not only did the computer kind of have my number and get my goat and all that stuff, but then I realized that it was me that was clicking on the wrong thing, which well, then I was being a wee bit judgmental to myself. And that's why I am so grateful for art supplies because wow, was I able to get some of it out doing this. Now notice I said some of it out. I'm still rather frustrated with myself. So after I get all sorts of color on here, then I'm gonna do something else to help release that frustration. I really kinda of like how this is looking, so I'm gonna tear off one of these and set it aside, and that'll become the background for an art journal or something like that. But the rest of this, I am going to just rip it up. I started by doing the larger pieces, and then I realized I needed just a little more ripping here. So I started ripping those into smaller pieces and smaller and smaller ones until I basically felt like I'd gotten most of this out of my system. All of this frustration really was an oops, an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly because now I had collage on my mind. I grabbed one of my art journals and all of my art journals are unfinished. They're always pages halfway done or just started within them. And that's what I'm using here. This is a background that I just started at some point I gessoed the page and then put some paint on top of it. This page has patiently been waiting until I was ready for it. And that is right now. I'm putting gel medium on the back of each one of these to stick it to the page. And then I'm using my finger to just lightly put a little bit on the top. I'm being careful as I put it on the top because the water in the gel medium is going to activate the art crayon, meaning it's gonna make it so it smears really easily. Now this is something that you don't want to have happen if you've done your scribbling around and you let it sit for a couple of hours or overnight, the art crayons set up and they don't smear quite as easily or quite as quickly. Since these are freshly drawn scribbles, I'm gently going over the top with the gel medium and being careful not to rub my finger too far off of it. Otherwise I'll end up smearing the color onto that orange background. Now at this point in my collage, I started to see a beautiful imaginary creature. I was so excited that this random collage was about to take me to something that was going to be amazing and wonderful and just make me so happy. I, was, oh, I just knew just a few more pieces here and there. I kind of had this vision. I'm grabbing pieces and well, how shall we say, this is not going to turn out the way I expected. Not one bit at all. I thought by putting this arm on here that maybe it would be reaching out with a star in its hand or a heart. Oh, just love and acceptance and all that kind of thing. Cause wow, with the day I've had, that's what I kind of need. 
And as I looked at this, I realized it doesn't look like that. It looks more like a person sitting on a toilet reading the newspaper. So yeah, I'm not getting that elegant, amazing creature, that imaginary thing that I thought was going to reveal itself here on the page. Instead, I got somebody sitting on the toilet reading the paper. And if that's what shows up, then I'm going to embrace it. And so I'm finishing up the commode there, and then it's time to work on the background. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, if you're having some fun, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll know as soon as I have a new video out. To create a background for this, I'm going to use a stencil, and this one is the alternating ovals that I created for over at Stencil Girl Products. The paint that I'm using is Liquitex Acrylic Gouache, and one of the reasons why I really like using it is because of the shape of the bottle, I'm able to just put a little bit out because I really don't need a lot to do this. Then I'm going to take a cosmetic sponge and I'm simply going to stencil this thing on here. The reason why I chose to use a cosmetic sponge to do this is it's going to make it really easy to stencil around my collaged commode person there. When I get near that, because there's a straight firm edge on a cosmetic sponge, it means I can just stencil around them. So when I lift up the stencil, it's going to look like the pattern is behind my collage commode person. You'll think, oh, she must have decided this ahead of time what the background would be and collaged on top. When, nope, that's not what happened, because you've been watching this video. You know what happened. I put that stuff on there and then decided I needed a background. By this point in the play, I really appreciated the slap on the head from the muse to just not take things so seriously. Because why else would a person sitting on a toilet shown up in that collage if not for that reason? So if you ever happen to feel some frustration, and, and maybe you're the kind of person that never ever has any frustration, but if you are, I highly encourage you to try getting out those art supplies and just letting loose with them and seeing where it goes. Might surprise you where it goes, and it definitely might make you laugh. I'm using more of the acrylic gouache here to paint around the shapes with the yellow. And if you'd like to know more about how this paint behaves, the things that it does, I've got a video down below where I put it through its paces. Well, this page needs a title, and I decided the word whatever summed it all up. So as I say whatever for this one, it's with a smile and a playful eye roll to my muse because, well, she's definitely been having some fun messing with me on this one. I'm using more of that acrylic gouache here, and I'm just using a cosmetic sponge to stencil it on. Now, this is one of many words with attitude that come on my teenage angst stencil. You can keep it as one big stencil, or you can cut the words apart like what I did here. Either way, it'll still stencil the same. And if you're curious about the exact supplies that I've used throughout this video, I've got them all linked over on my blog, so maybe a link will show up on the screen or else there'll be one down below. I put a really thin amount of paint on here, so that means it's gonna dry pretty quickly. But it's not miracle paint. It's not gonna dry in a blink of an eye. So that means as I'm whitewashing it here with just a thin coat of the white, what might happen is some of the yellow blends around a little bit, and if that happens, I'm just going to say it adds to it. It's probably going to blow your mind here what I'm about to share with you, but if you use more paint, it covers up more stuff. And if you use a thinner coat of paint, you see more of what's showing up behind it. So any of the areas that are more opaque, that's because I put more paint on there. And any of the areas where you can see a lot more of the background, that's because I used a thinner coat of paint there. Now, is this some great big intentional plan? <laughs> Absolutely not. It has to do with how much paint ends up getting grabbed on the brush. You might think that that word whatever has cooties the way I'm avoiding it at this moment, but actually I just want to give it as much time as possible for it to dry. Well, you know, I say as much time as possible, but what I mean is as much time as the impatient me is willing to give it. One of the things that I really love about the acrylic gouache is that you can write on top of it with just about any pen. Except there is one caveat to that. The paint does need to actually be dry, and well, it's not dry. So for me to use a pen to write on this to add some journaling, I'm going to have to wait for it to dry. However, my patience quota has been filled for the day, and I'm not willing to wait. So there's a way around that. I'm going to use something that can write on anything. And that would be a Stabilo pencil. It'll write on wet paint, oily stuff, matte stuff, whatever. The kicker about a Stabilo pencil, though, is if it gets wet, man, does it run and reactivate. So that's why it's oftentimes one of the last things that I add onto a page, just because it will smear so much. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play as I collage somebody sitting on the toilet reading a paper. If you've been enjoying this video, I'd so appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. 
Want to know more of what I'm up to? Check it all out over on my blog at thecolorfuljourney.com. Thanks for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.